What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the latest football transfer news video and today's main topic is that Neymar officially joined Paris Saint-Germain. Neymar and Paris Saint-Germain paid that release clause which is 222 million euros which is about about 200 million pounds. He will earn after tax 515 thousand pounds per week what do you think about this transfer? Did you think when the first rumors came out, did you honestly think that Paris Saint-Germain would be able to get the Neymar? Did you think that Neymar would want to go to Paris Saint-Germain? I will be honest, me and many other football fans doubted this transfer because these transfer rumors keep kept coming up every year. Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United, Neymar to Manchester United, Neymar to Paris Saint-Germain, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo to Paris Saint-Germain and you would never think that they would move there. But they did. Neymar did, and it's it's it sent shockwaves uh, through football. I think this changes a lot of things in football. I'm not sure if this transfer fits into the financial fair play rules because the transfer deal is quite dodgy. There are big rumors around that actually Qatar, who is you know backing the Paris Saint Germain, basically the whole country you know, own the club Paris Saint-Germain, the Qatari royal family own Paris Saint-Germain and uh, instead of, you know, Paris Saint-Germain paying Neymar's release clause, actually there are big rumors that Neymar got 300 million euros to be the ambassador and the face of the 2022 Qatar World Cup and he pockets about 8 million euros from that and the rest of the money was, uh, you know, going to uh, Barcelona and La Liga you know there in La Liga there is a rule that you have to put a release clause in the contract and I wonder if Barcelona regret putting only and I say only 222 million euros because I, I think when, our, when Barcelona extended Neymar's contract I think it was last summer Paris Saint-Germain you know paid the release clause I think that's a huge huge revenge on Barcelona because when Barcelona you know uh, tried to get Ferrati and uh, Di Maria and other Paris Saint-Germain players and many other players you know Par Barcelona thought that they could bully other clubs into selling their star players and this is a huge huge uh, you know revenge for Paris Saint-Germain and many people are actually delighted that Paris Saint-Germain did this to Barcelona because Barcelona did some shady transfer moves uh, previously to other clubs uh, similar to this one but the big, big, uh, the big argument is that is Qatar really allowed to do this? Is it legal to pay basically Neymar 300 million euros to be an ambassador of the Qatari World Cup? I guess they can do it because uh, there is no yeah, you know, rule how much money you can pay a football star to be an ambassador but it's a very shady business, business that basically it's Neymar who paid the release clause and he moves to Paris Saint-Germain as a free agent, as a free transfer. I'm not sure if this is 100% true but that's what I'm reading through various news outlets and newspapers and let me know guys what do you think about this because I think if, if this is true then this opens up a whole can of worms, a whole new era of you know ridiculous transfers because if China for example who also have almost unlimited amounts of money and don't get me wrong it will be very exciting to see if Neymar can step out of the shadow of Lionel Messi. Uh, Neymar said that that's the main reason why he wants to join Paris Saint-Germain, that uh, he wants to develop and uh, take on a new challenge. And I think Neymar realized that uh, to become the best player in the world, and that's Neymar's ambition, he would never achieve that in Barcelona. He's approaching his peak years, he's 25 years old and Messi is not going anywhere anytime soon. Messi could still play for the next three, four, even maybe the next five years at Barcelona and Neymar would never become the best player in the world. He would never win the Ballon d'Or with being on the same team as Messi because Messi is better than Neymar right now and Neymar basically needs his own team to build, uh, to be built around him but I still think that he should have joined somebody else because the French league is not the best league 
He's, it's arguably not even in the top three best leagues. I think the top three best leagues is La Liga, Premier League and Bundesliga. And if even if Neymar wins the French League every year, that's nothing. The football world won't consider that a big accomplishment because uh, even though Monaco won the French League last season, Monaco sold half of, of their best uh, players, half of their first team. So if Paris Saint-Germain wins the, the league, three, four, five years ago in a row, most people will say, so what? Paris Saint-Germain should win the league anyway because they spend the most money, they have the best team by far in the French league. So basically, Neymar puts all his eggs in one basket and that is winning the Champions League. Or maybe he is also, if he wins the World Cup with Brazil and wins the Champions League with Paris Saint-Germain, he could win the Ballon d'Or. But I still think that even if he does that, even if he wins multiple Champions League titles with Paris Saint-Germain, he won't be considered on the same level as Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi because Neymar lifted eight major trophies, nine trophies in total with Barcelona. And to put that into context, Pedro, who is considered nowhere near as good as a player as Neymar, and Pedro scored the same amount of goals approximately as Neymar but Pedro before he moved, moved to Chelsea won 20 yes you heard it right Pedro won 20 trophies with Barcelona so Neymar would need to win about 10 to 15 trophies with, with Paris Saint-Germain to be even approaching that level and I think that will be very hard because yeah Paris Saint-Germain could win the French League they could win the French Cup the French League Cup even the French Super Cup and they need to win the Champions League otherwise Neymar would no, get nowhere near the Ballon d'Or in my opinion M or maybe if he wins the World Cup that's the only other way that I can see Neymar getting a Ballon d'Or if he basically will be the focal point the superstar of the Brazil national team at the World Cup but this is a very very interesting because a Brazilian football expert Tim Vickery said this it's no coincidence that all this has arisen after Messi signed a new contract Neymar uh, Neymar had three options Messi moving on you know Neymar replacing Messi or Neymar moving on it look, looks like we got the third option um, Messi was never going to leave Barcelona in my opinion even though he flirted with going to Manchester City he is just so too happy at Barcelona and he has the best chance to win trophies at Barcelona and uh, you could argue that you know Neymar would have been better off had he stayed at Barcelona and uh, you know waited until Messi retired but who knows if Messi still plays for five six years then Neymar would have been forever in the shadows of Messi and Neymar's best years would have been gone because if Messi retires five years from now or four years from now then Neymar would have been 29 or 30 years old and then he couldn't really take over the football world because then the likes of Mbappe and Dembele and Dybala could already become you know as good as as Neymar is right now or even better the big also the big, other big question is you know is this driven by money and i think i think it's a huge huge motivation i can see the sporting side of it but the main reason why neymar moves to paris saint germain in my honest opinion is money and his father is a huge huge uh, catalyst behind this transfer his father has been always money hungry he was already involved when neymar went from santos to barcelona and the Barcelona president at the time uh, is actually in jail because of that transfer and the Qataris were kind of involved in that as well so it's going to, it's it's very interesting the whole Neymar saga i i i read quite a lot of articles and viewpoints of uh, Barcelona fans who have a lot more and a lot bigger knowledge of Barcelona and the club's uh, issues and uh, what's going on at the club than me and the Barcelona fans are saying that Neymar has always been this uh, you know commercially driven money hungry player three out of his four seasons that he stayed at Barcelona his off the field antics always distracted him and some of you know the Barcelona fans from his on the field uh, you know achievements 
So basically the Barcelona fans are saying that watching Neymar closely that Neymar has always been very very focused on uh, commercial deals and advertisements and promoting uh, different shoes during the games. I've, I've heard that Neymar was tying his shoes uh, multiple times during a single game just uh, for the camera to zoom in on him and uh, just that the shoe manufacturer who is actually sponsoring Neymar gets bigger exposure and I think he, he, he got a, a deal which was, uh, you know, this, this was written in the deal that Neymar has to do this and, and also Barcelona fans are saying that Neymar's uh, true potential, you know, is uh, much higher than his end product has been at Barcelona. He had only one season when he was truly outstanding when Barcelona won the treble two seasons ago and don't get me wrong in the other seasons he has been world-class he has been brilliant but the Barcelona fans are saying and that's not my opinion that's the the very knowledgeable Barcelona fans opinion that Neymar could have be could have done so much more he could have achieved so much more he could have been an even better player if he focused more on training and becoming a better player and being obsessed with training and becoming a better player instead of uh, all these commercial deals and partying and uh, and all these you know off the field antics so that's what the Barcelona fans are saying but I would love to hear your opinion guys about this transfer and the big question is who will replace Neymar at Barcelona because don't get me wrong this will this will be this will have a um, domino effect in the transfer market the ba three main targets or four main targets for Barcelona are of course Philip Coutinho, Ousmane Dembele, Griezmann and Kylian Mbappe I really hope that Liverpool don't sell Coutinho even if they offer 100 or 150 million pounds even two I wouldn't sell Coutinho even for 200 million pounds because look at Liverpool's transfer business so far we have the money to sign Van Dijk, we have the money to sign Keita, but we haven't been able to sign our two main targets, so we won't be able to replace Coutinho. And I think uh, Barcelona should go for either Dybala or Ousmane Dembele. Griezmann I don't think is available, he has a, also a 200 million pound, sorry, 200 million euro release clause. And also Griezmann said that because Atletico Madrid's transfer ban, it would be unethical to, for him to leave. Dybala, I don't think Juventus want to sell, so I think the most sensible target would be Usmane Dembele. And he's also one of the most exciting young players in the world. And they could get him for a fraction of the Neymar money. And also they could strengthen other areas of the pitch. They need, in my opinion, a midfielder. And also they need a center back as well. So they could sign a very, very good world-class midfielder and a world-class centre-back with this money plus Ousmane Dembele and maybe overall the Barcelona team would be as good or even better uh, without Neymar. Not their attack, but their overall team because of the strengthening the midfield and the defence. So that's my opinion. Let me know what is yours in the comments below and thanks for watching. See you later guys. Goodbye.